I'm going to pull up an Excel spreadsheet here in a minute. Um, I wanted to share one of the ways that I tracked the literature that I was reading for my literature review. I didn't want to pull it up quite yet because it can be overwhelming. Um, and I just want to brace you uh, that it's a lot of information, but I'm going to talk you through what all is included and how I actually pulled all this information up. Okay. So what I did is all of my, let me go through the top row so you can see what information I pulled from the research. In column A, um, I'm a geek, I need paper, so I printed all of these articles and put them in binders based on topics. So I have a binder on virtual work, one on um, psychological capital and work engagement, one just on work engagement, etc. So that's what that first row is all about. Then I went through with each of the articles, let me be clear, this is all cut and paste from PDF documents, okay? None of this is anything that I wrote, it's just stuff that I pulled out so that I could quickly go through it and find things as I was writing and quickly do some analysis. So here's the year of the article, here's the author, the theoretical framework that they used, so kind of a mix. Um, I wanted to be able to filter if they were using the same theoretical framework that I used. The research method, was it quantitative, was it qualitative, was it a meta-analysis, literature review, etc. The research design, who the target population was, and a lot of this information you can pull straight from the abstract. Uh, what country it was conducted in, what the sample size was what instruments they used. This was really helpful when you want to um, talk about, especially in chapter three, when you want to talk about other studies that use the instruments that you used. Then what did they find? Again, this you can pull this all from the abstract. If you want more details, you can go uh, to the discussion at the end of the article. And then future research suggestions. Okay, again, these are all cut and paste you can find them and pull them out from the discussion and at the end of the articles okay now how did i use this this is a lot of work put a lot of time into it but when i was writing chapter through two and chapter three here's how i use this and and why it was so helpful if i wanted to just look at quantitative studies you can see i've got my filter options on if you don't know how to turn on your filters you go up to the tab, go to data, and you'll click on the filter button. Okay, it'll turn those on and off. You just leave them on and you can filter. So if I wanna look at just quantitative studies, I'm gonna select the filter button and I'm gonna deselect everything. I only wanna look at quantitative studies. This will automatically filter everything that I've got in this matrix so that I can quickly look at, okay, did we have any studies in the US that were quantitative? Here's one. Um, or maybe let's do, let's filter down one more. Let's look at specifically, let's look at correlational. And clearly I had a typing issue. So there's a couple of different things in here. Let's pull up all of these, okay? So everything that's here, and you'll see down in the bottom left, 34 out of the 167 records that I have here are quantitative studies that are correlational to some degree. Okay, well, let's dig down further. Maybe I only want to look at those that used the psychological capital questionnaire, the 24 item. Oh, look, there's only one. Okay, so if I wanted to talk about a quantitative study that used the PCQ24, I have filtered all the way down and I can look at this. And if I need to go and look at the full article, I can grab it because I know it's Kim et al. 2019. Okay, then you just go back in here, select all. Well, let me just deselect everything. Select all. And you'll see it's cleared, select all, and it's gonna put everything back, okay? So this is just my tool and my 
way of working uh, with the matrix and working with the literature and being able to quickly flip back and forth to find certain things. If this would be helpful for you, uh, feel free to reach out to me. You can comment here on the video or uh, you can reach out to me via email. I'm happy to send you this Excel file. I'll clean it out so you don't have my notes in there. Um, but you're welcome to use this. It's uh, You can set it up similarly or I can send you my template. I'm happy to do that. And hopefully it's something that you'd be able to use and will be helpful as you're writing your dissertation.